What's up? Welcome to the Blender Babes channel. I have a special guest with me today, Mr. Brett Hobel. He is the author of 20 Minute Body. He's also a celebrity fitness trainer. You may have seen him on The Biggest Loser. And today we're going to be sharing with you two anti-bloat flat belly smoothie recipes. Yum. I promise you guys are in for a great treat. One of the things that we're going to talk about is why do we want to do no bloat smoothies? So I had, one of the reasons I got into it personally was I was allergic to dairy and I didn't even find out that I was dairy intelligent, intolerant until I was an adult. And I constantly was having gas and burping and stuff and I just thought that was kind of the normal thing. But it's not. If you guys are having a lot of distension in your lower abs or you're finding that you're having gas, it's usually a sign that you're not digesting something that you should be able to and that can, have a, that can lead to a lot of problems irritable bowel syndrome, and a whole bunch of stuff. So we want to make sure that you guys understand some of these basic things and give you a great recipe to help with that. Yeah, we're going to talk about all the foods that are here in our recipes and the other types of ingredients that you guys can use in your smoothies to help with digestion and gas and bloating. And you know what happens when you have gas, so... Oh, it's not very sexy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's not sexy. But so also some other things... I always say this with fitness, the equipment is really important. The right type of shoes, the right type of, I mean, if you're, if you're going to lift, what are you going to use? Is it dumbbells, this, that? The other thing, you got to have the right equipment. Also, I really believe in these high-powered blenders. I avoided getting the high-powered blenders, and when I finally got one, man, it was amazing. So tell us a little bit about what we've got here. So this is one of my favorite blenders. Uh, it's a Blendtec Pro 800 because it's the quietest blender in the world. It's the one they use at Jamba Juice, guys. So you know that it is <laughs> made for smoothies. Uh, you know, if you have like little kids or you want to blend early in the morning or late at night, then you definitely might want to consider a quiet blender like this one because most high power blenders are really, really loud. And yes. that's one of the cons, you know, besides like usually a hefty price tag, but they last forever. You know, this comes with, I believe this one has a 10 year warranty. Wow. So, you know, you're, if you're getting these other little blenders that are not very So you know, I, I don't money. have a blend tag, but so I'm like looking at He's this like this is, this is the Rolls Royce. <laughs> so I'm excited to use it for the first time. She's been talking about it a lot. So let's get into the recipe. So we got the equipment. Here are the basic recipe ingredients for her smoothie. What is the name of your smoothie? Mine is the Clean Green Kombucha Smoothie. And I love using kombucha just in general. Uh, you know, one in seven Americans suffer from irritable bowel syndrome, yes, also known IBS. as IBS, including me. Mm. So I've had a lot of pain. I've been dealing with it for many years. And what I found was probiotics was really my life savior and fermented foods. Mm. So kombucha is a fermented tea. You know, and it comes with lots of like flavors and things like you can, you can definitely make it. I, I've made it before and you know for me it's like a, it's a little bit easier to just buy it. One of the ingredients in the main one in this clean green kombucha smoothie is kiwi. So kiwi is really really high in fiber. They did a study that showed uh, people that had two kiwis a day for like you know, a few weeks they had a lot less symptoms mm. in terms of like constipation and IBS symptoms. So definitely want to stick with kiwi. Cilantro too. Cilantro has oils in it that's going to help relieve um, the digestive muscles. So right. it's going to relax them. So those are really, really good for you. Obviously cucumber is awesome just because it's really, really hydrating. Um, and you want to get organic if you can because the skin actually has most of the nutrition. So it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, we're going to go dairy free with this smoothie and use um, a soy yogurt by So Delicious. I love So Delicious. They're so, coconut. They're so good. Oh, this is a coconut, coconut. yogurt. Now, now, it's all good. I, I um, have done, I did soy for a while and I switched to coconut. I am a big fan of the So Delicious people. Big shout out to them. Yeah. But um, I, since I'm dairy intolerant, I can't do cow. I could do um, sheep. Can you do kefir? Yeah, it's just the taste, you know, like mm -hmm. sheep, goat milk has just got a little bit of sourness so, to it. Yeah, a little tangy. The coconut is the bomb. So mm -hmm. I, if you've never tried So Delicious, their ice cream. They're I just didn't say, say their I ice cream is so cream, good. But it's really good. It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. It's just your kombucha, kiwi, cucumber, uh, cilantro. We got and, some, some yogurt. And, and I put ginger ice. kombucha. Oh yeah, that's actually what the recipe calls for is ginger. So oh okay. You made ginger it. kombucha. If you and just ice. use regular kombucha, then you might want to add just a little bit of fresh ginger, which is also really, really great for digestion and, and anti bloating. So for my flat belly no bloat smoothie, this is what we've got. Now there's a lot of fruit here. Fruit is really important because 
Fruit has a lot of proteolytic or digestive enzymes, and they actually help digest proteins, and that's sometimes hard to do. So having the digestive enzymes in there, it's something that I do. I'll do it in the morning, and I'll do my fruit in the morning as a power shake or right after I train when I'm depleted of my sugar stores. But first thing in the morning, a lot of times you've slept, your body is lower on glycogen, so that's the time that I like to have my fruit, not too late at night. So this type of smoothie is going to have um, half a pear. It's going to have three quarters of a cup of papaya, uh, a cup of pineapple, a teaspoon of ginger. We got fresh ginger here that is peeled, two uh, or three mint leaves, which are going to be the garnish, a tablespoon of flaxseed, and a dash of cinnamon and a cup of water. I always do a lot of ice. I personally find that smoothies that don't have ice, they just don't taste good to me. If I put a little bit of ice in there, they're amazing. Or you can oh, use frozen fruit too. Frozen fruit, another great it. one. Yeah. So let's get into the right. smoothiness of so it. So we have our Blendtec Wild Side Jar, which it can make a lot, which is really great if you have a family, um, but it can also make smaller portions too. So, you know, people always ask me like, which jar should I get? But I also really love the Twister Jar. That's great for like nut butters. So I'm so excited to try your kombucha. That's rad. And I put green tea and black tea in there, so it's a different... I'm kind of going to have some. Have it, have it. Wow, yours is way better than the one I made. Maybe I need to start <laughs> making it again. I don't know. You're going to have to give me your recipe. Oh, I'm going to some. Cheers, you cheers, some? everybody. Cheers. It looks like a beer, but it's not. It's all good. <laughs> so, you know, I love, I love this blender because you it's don't really, really have to prep ingredients. Normally at home, I don't even cut stuff up. I just toss it in there. That's what I love about these Hypoar blenders is like... You just dump Save it in. Save time. You don't, don't even have, have time to in cut the morning. anything. It's amazing. Yeah. How so much yogurt are It's supposed to be about six <clears throat> ounces. Six ounces. Cool. Okay. So that is cup. plain coconut. You can get this in vanilla, strawberry, whatever you want. Um, we were cutting down on the sugar because there's a so lot wet. in it. <laughs> so. I'll be kicking it. So now we won't like, you know, bust everybody's eardrums. And so right, right, right. <laughs> Actually, my high power blender is really loud. Waking everybody up. All right, all right, all right. So, High you want to see how it works? Have you seen this one? Make the shake. So this one's all touch screen. So I'm just powering it on, and then that's the smoothie button. But you guys can see there's there's manual speeds here. Look too. at this Rolls right, Royce. Right, right. It's rad. All right. Here, here we, we go. go. Here we Three, go. two, one. So it's so quiet, quiet that is. Want to hear how uh, loud it normally is? Oh, look at that. Like we can talk to you guys, you guys can hear us, and it's blending right now, right? 50 seconds, less than a minute, you can have a super smooth. Yeah, I like to blend it longer so it gets. That's because you need it with that other blender you have. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's looking good. Right? Come on, let's dig in. Yeah, I love kiwi. I love kiwi and smoothies. Right. It's, it's going to stop automatically. Oh, it'll so, stop yeah. automatically. You know, you just can go to the kitchen, there, look you can be cleaning up. There you go. I like that. All right. Mmm, smell it. Mmm. Oh, that smells good. I smell that. Yeah. Kiwi. Yeah. Mmm. All right. Wish you guys were here. I know. Wish you were here. A little cheers. We need to have a smoothie party. Maybe we should do a smoothie. And we're doing a, a meetup. I'm going to do my orange straw. I'm proud of my straws. Are we ready? Yes. I got my green one. Saruji. Cheers. Happy so Monday. Easy. I have not tried this, so I'm excited. Mm. Mm. That's bomb. Wow. Bomb.com. Man, that the yogurt makes it so creamy. Mm -hmm. And the, the mm. cilantro, besides wow, being really, good, really for good for digestion, is also really detoxing. Mm. So you can really very cleansing smoothie as well. Very good. You guys are going to love this one. Yeah. For summertime, this is amazing. So good. We're gonna get into mine now. This is the Ooh. no bloat fat belly smoothie. And Exciting. so let, let me talk a little bit about some of the things that we have here. So one of the first ones is papaya. Papaya has a lot of digestive enzymes. Um, and one of them is papaya, uh, papain, P-A-P-A-I-N. Uh, and that is really good at digesting proteins. Something that a lot of these fruits have are fiber that we talk about, but there are two types of fiber. So you have soluble fiber. So soluble fiber helps absorb water. So when you are digesting the foods or you already have food in your digestive tract, 
When soluble fiber comes in and grabs water, it helps bind the waste that's already in your digestive tract and move that out of you. So it helps with your bowel movements. That's what soluble fiber. Papaya has a lot of soluble fiber. And insoluble fiber, it has some insoluble fiber too. Insoluble fiber is fiber that won't absorb a lot of water and it doesn't digest. And what that does is it just pushes everything out because it's not gonna get digested. So you have one part of the fiber that's absorbing water and binding and the insoluble fiber that's kind of pushing it all out. So fruits, uh, like the pear, you wanna eat the skin because a lot of the insoluble fibers in the skin and the soluble fibers on the, the uh, fruit on the inside. Okay, so it's three quarters of a cup of papaya. Pineapple, how many of you guys love pineapple? Come on, pineapples are amazing. They're also high in fiber, but one thing um, is they're so high in fiber, especially the core, that you don't wanna eat too much of it or it can actually lead to gas. So you can see what we've done. We peeled obviously the rind off of it and cut the core out. If you're good with digesting the core, it's very chewy and very high in fiber, but just be careful because it can lead to gas. The pear, when I talked about the pear, it's got a lot of, again, insoluble fiber uh, in the skin, soluble fiber here, very high in digestive enzymes. It has a lot of fructose, which is a type of sh uh, sugar, and um, sorbitol, which is a natural sugar that they actually put in fake sweeteners. But that comes out of here. We're doing a half a pear mint. Here's something really interesting about mint. So we're gonna use this as a garnish. M mint, when you put it on, when you uh, eat it, it starts to trigger the, sal the salivary glands and the bile in your, um, in your liver, and those are things that help with digestion. Flax seeds. So flax seeds, they've got omega-3 oils in them. Omega-3, the oils are good because they help coat your digestive tract. And if when your uh, digestive tract has the right oils in them, everything keeps moving. If you're dehydrated and you don't have enough uh, liquid or oil, things get stuck and backed up, which we don't want. And then cinnamon, one of my favorites. So cinnamon is really good at increasing metabolism, particularly for carbohydrates. Uh, there's a lot of other things in there. Cinnamon's got some other um, interesting compounds that will help speed up peristalsis and digestion. So those are all sort Plus of the it's benefits. Delicious. And it's just tasty. <laughs> make cinnamons are really great spice for smoothies. It adds a lot of flavor. A tablespoon of flaxseed, a couple dashes of it. Let's go. And just, just so you know, if you guys are using a regular blender, you probably want to use ground flaxseed because it won't be strong enough to really handle full flax seeds. But if you have a power blender, then no problem. Pine now, fiber. I'm putting this right in. Just a couple of dashes. And maybe a couple dashes on top. Boom. Yeah. Whoa, he went, whoa, he went crazy. <laughs> he went a little crazy with this. All right. You got your liquid? Yeah, yeah, it's all in there. All right. You get to test this baby out. Your future blender. Now, is there a way for the handles or just go yeah, like that? Yeah, it's all good. All right. Yeah. Oops. All right. Boom, here we go. You want to try it? That's Boom. It's that easy. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got. Yes, coconut water, David. David Co Cooper was asking about coconut water. Coconut water is one of the things I always add a lot of times. Uh, the electrolytes that are in it, and also, it just adds sweetness to it. So you can totally do that. So coconut water is something, we talked about doing it, but you don't really need to because we've got so much fruit in it. But when I'm doing a green smoothie in the morning, that's got like celery, cucumber, and no fruit, or maybe a little bit of pear, I always add the coconut water because it makes it taste sweet. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but we have a free juice detox on blenderbabes.com and uh, all of the drinks almost have coconut water just because of that tiny bit of sweetness yes. plus the electrolytes, the potassium. I mean, you really, really can't go wrong. All right. Casey Halstead said, Brett, can you do a Facebook Live on the core? Yes, I can. I've been doing a lot of core moves. I'm going to start doing more workouts. We were doing more talks on, I got a lot of people asking about nutrition. Fine. So I focus on that, but yes, next phase we're gonna do workouts. All right, here we go. It's pretty, pretty color. Yeah, I'm gonna let you do that. All right, look we'll at that. Blender babe look the at boring. that, that is the papaya and pineapple color. I love that, beautiful. She's going oh, lefty yeah. up here. Look at the lefty. Oh, look, yeah. I Ooh. like it. See, it looks like, it looks like a beer, but it's not. <laughs> All right. Now, some other things about the fiber and some of these fruits that are in here is they will actually help with fermentation in your gut. So some of the other foods that are in your gut, these digestive enzymes in the fruit and the fiber help them to ferment 
And those fermented compounds are what the good bacteria in your gut live off of. Just like the kombucha, which is fermented, the fermentation helps the bacteria in your gut grow and those bacteria help you digest food. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hey guys, be sure to check out 20 Minute Body. We're gonna put a link for you guys to learn more about it. Uh, there's all kinds of fitness workouts, recipes, and a lot of great information. So be sure to check it out. And as always, happy blending. Bye. Get the best deals on high powered blenders through Blender Babes. Not only do you get free shipping, but you get exclusive free gifts.